Hello everyone, welcome to the Reaper Podcast. I am your host, John Reaper. I'm sorry for the the, the whole <laughs> wait process thing, but there, there's a lot going on. Uh, I'm still trying to get days figured out. Whoa. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but um but I'm trying to get everything figured out and done. Um there's still a lot going on that I need to edit <laughs> and all that, but uh Welcome, you guys. It's been a blast. It's been awesome um, doing the podcast. So, let's get right into it, shall we? Now, the the first thing is um, I want to address that apparently one dev, and this is coming from IGN, okay? Guys, look. It's IGN. The same people who, you know, claim they are experts on a game and then say they played them, that they, they love the game, but then they they trash the, the game coming out and they get the names all wrong. You know, it's like, really? You know, it just, it makes, makes no sense. IGN is a poorly, 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 poorly. To be honest, um, there was one place that, I mean, I wish I could have a team like IGN and make it extremely better, and, I mean, I would. If I, um, to be honest, <laughs> I know there's a building where I can have, you know, I can get, if I get money up, and I would, I would hire a bunch of people that writes articles, make a website, make a YouTube, a couple YouTube channels or a YouTube channel or whatever, and go to town. And it would be better than IGN. I would actually get actual experts on the matter. Um, for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, uh, Kingdom Hearts. These people claim they are Kingdom Hearts experts. I understand, you know, a couple mix-ups here and there. But they are constantly messing up on the kingdom. I mean, they they are Kingdom Hearts experts. They know the lore. They know what they're doing. They know they played the game. Maybe a demo. And then forgot about it. Yeah. They are not experts. They they lie out of their butts. To be honest, they, they just... They pull the turkey out of their, their anus... And slap it on the table, cover it with some grease, and say, "There you go." And, you know, I mean, it's it's that that you know, it's like uh, I take it with a grain of salt. You know, just like the the whole claims of oh, the, it was so terrible, treated so ter. I mean, remember that that Konami was treating their people so terribly. That they were shutting doors and everything. And then, oh, Kojima comes out and says, you know what? You know, thank you guys for... It's like, oh, oh, you know, where's that source now? Konami still standing. Where's that source? They still have employees. Where is that incredible source now? If he didn't leave or if he wasn't even... If he was imaginary. I mean, you get, you get my point here. I mean, it's... No. Okay, I don't believe a word of it. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. You know, unless the man comes out, man or woman, comes out and says they, you know, with actual evidence, you know, badges, you know, numbers and, and employee records and, and all that. Stuff that cannot be faked, you know. Photographs, you know, photograph taken at, you know, Konami and and stuff like that, signatures, stuff that cannot be fake, which is totally hard to fake, or totally hard to, you know, identify from fake and real nowadays with computers and printing and, and stuff like that, um, to be honest, it's, that's what needs to happen, that source needs to actually come forward and say, I am so and so, 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 but until I see that happening, it's like, well, you know, he's afraid of getting sued. No, no, no. I don't care. I do not care. He ain't gonna get sued. 
Um, he might lose his job if he's still working there, but he ain't gonna get sued, you know. Um, but yeah, IGN, I do not. Anyway, IGN came out, they were on the thing, and somebody came out and said, Oh, you know, a dev played it and talked to me, and he didn't really like it. He said it was weird. He said, you know, it was interesting but weird, and he did not like it at all. And it's like, really, people? You gonna believe IGN? And not to mention, a dev. A dev came out and said that. To be honest, okay, people, people, a developer, any developer of any game is going to be like, Mm, because it's competition competition people come on. have you ever heard of that i mean has this world gone to to being so soft to competition stuff you know when you go out and you compete and then you see other people and you're like you know what if they win it's okay i will applaud them because it's okay. They did good. No. When when you go out and compete, you're going, I'm going to beat that person. That person has no talent over me. I'm going to beat it. And then, you know, if you if you see something, if you see a talent of theirs, and it, like, it's better than your talent, you're like, yeah, they, they stink. Mm-mm, they stink. Nope. 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 They stink. I mean, come on, people. Really. For real. You know, you got to think. You know, uh, people might not like it. I mean, come on. You, you got Mads, Norman, everybody liking it. I mean, they're in the game, of course. You know, they're, they're probably going to get paid. But you have all these people. And... It it just kills me how all these people just, you know. Uh, anyway, so this weekend was, like I said, don't believe the reports, don't believe people, don't believe. Okay, until the game comes out, until we have a demo of some sorts, please do not believe the hype. Do not believe any of this stuff, please. Okay, guys, come on. Um... But, to be honest, Young Yeah needs to just, I mean, I'm glad he's applauding and he's saying, hey, look, don't believe. But, to be honest, I mean, I know he was probably pushed by his fans to report on something like this. You know, I understand that. But, it's it's something that I don't think it needs to be talked about. Because, it's it's thrashing a game coming from a sores that thrashes and utterly thrashes games they do not understand you know and she's like I talked to the developer it's like okay why didn't you come out with this information you know why didn't you publish it why didn't you say something in an IGN publish it see there's something wrong there When I mean to me to me, if that was said to me, that right there would be big, big news. And if she was going to come out publicly and talk about it right there, don't you think it would have been greater if she would have made a video? Or if they would have made a video and say, you know, a dev, you know, we're not disclosing the name, you know. But it's just, it's... It's something like that, you know. It's like, well, that's like kind of big. Don't you think you could have reported on it? No, you're just going to keep it to yourself. And then, oh, pop it out in a podcast later when you're talking about it. Come on. Think, people. Come on. I mean, that's big news right there. A developer did not like it. Hmm. You know, developers not liking other developers' na- games. Hmm. <laughs> You know, I've heard I've heard that stuff before. You know, I've heard developers like I don't like that game. I don't like that game. I think it gets boring. Blah 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 blah. I've heard stuff like that. Come on, people. Anyway, let's let's move on. 
this weekend was actually the Mount, was it Mountain Dew tour or whatever, and Konami was getting in on it. You know, was with Bomberman and and stuff like that. Man, now they they were rocking it. Uh, free codes and stuff like that. Um, but it's just it's it's so disappointing it really is it's really disappointing oh wow uh olive oliva d Hollyland turns 102, outlives the rest of Gone with the Wind cast. That's cool. Um, yeah, I've only seen Gone with the Wind like once, and then after that, I've seen only bits and pieces. But but it's just it's. It's something that I don't know. I I. It's something that you know. Think about, a hundred and two. There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of people, of course, older, but we very rarely hear of actors hitting like a hundred and two. And really, it's like, or it's usually like ninety two, ninety five, and then they, you know, they sadly pass away. But, you know. 102 congratulations you know that that is extremely awesome like i said i've only seen gone with the wind once and then i've seen like bits and pieces um for you know rewatching it but yeah but um, the mountain dew tour back back on that um i didn't go to it i wish i could have and i did not have like you know, I, I should have kept on it, but man, I was like completely busy this week, weekend. There was just a lot going on, uh, which is why I'm tired. So, it's just, there was a lot going on and a lot of stuff happening. So, anyway. But, Konami's doing their best. I did a poll. Uh, several polls uh, actually and there's a lot of people that are wanting the Metal Gear Solid remake or not the remake but the HD Legacy Collection on the PS4 um, to be honest like Konami um, they, it might not be the right time to do the HD collections because like uh, maybe they're holding it back for a different purpose. Uh, maybe they're they're waiting for the next Silent Hill game. They're waiting for the next Metal Gear game. Because, um, for instance, Capcom has did a thing where they waited. They did not port it, port the May Cry series to. Um, I mean, they ported the Resident Evil remakes, but they did not port the Devil May Cry. HD collection to the PS4 just yet until it was getting close to announce Devil May Cry 5. You know, they came out with Devil May Cry 4 and then the HD collections and then boom, you know. It's it's a strategy. The, the way I look at it is maybe they're waiting. They're waiting to get everything out of the way. You know, you got the Bomberman thing they're supporting now. Uh, survive Metal Gear or not Metal Gear, but Zone of the Enders, Second Runner, Mars. They're supporting that. You know they have, you know they they got. I mean they were working on Survive and Zone of the Enders, and then they got Survive out of the way. Now they're focused on uh, Zone of the Enders, and once those are out, now then those devs could, if they're already focused on something, you know. You got the Metal Gear team probably focus on something else. You know, who knows what they're coming up with, you know. Because um, Survive had been in development for, for a while. You know, I mean, it was pretty good what they did, you know. And they're still supporting, they're still supporting uh, the Phantom Pain as well, which is great. I mean, you have, 
Which I'm I'm waiting for them to pull the support for the Phantom Pain for like online because they're doing survive, you know, once they have that and I think they're they're looking at us performance wise. You know, they're trying to get people to move over to survive servers and they'll probably soon for the online one, not for like FOBs or anything. But for like the online matches and stuff, they might pull that out. And go, you know, we're focusing online on that. Keeping the servers up for the FOB and nuclear disarmament. You know, that, that's that's the way I would do it. And to be honest, I would I would wait to see how many people are going towards that. And to wait until we have a steady number. And then go, you know what, we're going to pull everything off. So, that's, that's the way I would do it. You know, if, if I was them. So... Uh, so everything is is going, you know, trying to go back to normal on my channel, and there, there's a lot, there's a lot to been talking about, and there's really a lot not really been talked about. There's just a lot of stuff going on. I've been analyzing stuff, getting stuff ready. Um, just a lot of stuff going on. I mean, a lot, lot, you know. Um. I've been trying to write my theory video so I can get it out there. Had to redo it because of the new trailer came out, but you know that's all right. You, you got to do that. You got to you got to flip the script and and everything. Um, of course, Resident Evil Two won the best of show from uh, the Game Critics Awards Best of E Three Two Thousand Eighteen. I knew they would win. I mean, come on, dude. It's Resident Evil. You can't just, like, go, oh, you know. Um, but it's just, it's cool how everybody is supporting everybody, you know. Um, and, and, and the thing is, <laughs> what people don't really get, and they don't, you know, people don't don't get is I see it all the time. You know, um, this whole Silent Hill thing needs to be like, like seriously, DS is not Silent Hill. I mean, I keep seeing it. I have not seen, and I'm afraid that you've watched Python Suggins' new video. Because, I mean, they shove that down the throat. I mean, they're good people. They're good guys. But and I, I know everybody's probably <laughs> saying the same thing about me. But I cannot wrap my mind around Silent Hill. You know, I understand Kojima's like, I got my own vision of Silent Hill and stuff like that. Dude. And everybody is like putting it together because PT. And it's like, really? Did you not understand what Daryl Toro said? He said, we dumbed everything down. We did everything. We put a little thing at the end. That way people don't know what we're doing. And I'm like, hmm, okay, so the Silent Hill thing ain't true. <laughs> you know, when they come up Silent Hills. I mean, really, Silent Hills? Like, for real? Silent Hills. To me, that, that's just like making fun of the get name, you know. Um, like if I come out with something Metal Gear uh, Solitaire, you know. I mean, or Metal Gear Solids. And then, you know, and they'll be like, hmm, okay, so it's not really, you know. And like the games are... And the way everything is, it's completely different. But, you know, let me think about it. I don't know. So, guys, I'm kind of like, I'm going to cut this short. It, like a 20-minute video. I understand. I know. It's like, dude, it's 10 minutes shorter than the other one. I really need to get it on the ball and stuff. I promise I'm going to try to get it on the ball, once I get everything on the ball, I'm going to return to an hour. 
but I'm keeping it between 20 and 30 minutes right now um, because of stuff happening and I need to get my schedule straightened around yet again and get everything on the ball. So thank you guys for listening um, to the short version of the River Podcast. Uh, Once I get everything ready and everything situated, I will go back to an hour. I want to have everybody on there, but I want everybody to know where I'm coming from and keep up to date. If you guys don't go to Twitter, you know, that way you guys don't know what's going on. Please do that. If you guys are listening to this and not uh, follow me on Twitter, please go follow me on Twitter. It's in the link description below. Click on it. Um, I'm on Twitter, Facebook. Facebook, it's the same thing as Twitter. I might respond a couple times, uh, but usually I respond on Twitter. But anything I put on Twitter goes to Facebook, so if you want to keep up to date, boom, there you go. Um, so thank you guys so much for listening, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.